Hello there. Well, well, well. We still have one level left. I say still. I mean, I guess <laughs> from the perspective of the viewer, I've done everything pretty good so far, but uh, I have been stuck on this level quite a while. I put some time into it and still have not been able to beat it. But I refuse to move on to the next area before I beat this level. It's just I've... I've, I've foregone the full medals thing, but I'm going to do all the levels. That's That's got to happen, and I don't want to pass this by and then have to come back to it. So, let's see if today's the time when I finally figure this out. Again, you're going to see the old attempt. It actually looks okay. The first attempt looked really ugly. You know, I'll save this just as like a historical record. We have that was one of the first, and then we had that, and then that, and then this. Just a lot of failed attempts for this level. Anyway, so this level you need to accept robots that would finish construction where they started, regardless of facing. It's very similar to the one. There was another one just like this. In fact, I'll just go back and show it. I think it was lunar bases. This one where. Uh, it's the same idea, but you uh, you turn like 90 degrees, you can think about it. Um, every time you get a red or a blue, it's 90 degrees. So uh, like in this one, it was like I would mark it yellow at the start. And then if we saw any blues or reds, you just ignore that until we get the either a yellow or a green. If we get the yellow, there was nothing going on. If we get a green, that means we went forwards. And the idea was, if we go forwards, now we have to see two rotations and a forwards for that to cancel out. So, uh, so like for this one, let's see, that's one rotation, but I print it back on. And then if I see another rotation in the red, followed by a green, I'm actually good at that point. Um, and then I just put on all the other stuff until I saw another yellow. So that was nice because I could kind of cancel it out. Maybe I haven't actually attempted to do something like this with uh, O'Neill cylinders. So let me try doing that. So And also, yeah, you can zoom in on this level. Which just shows how massive of an arena this is. But maybe the idea will be yellow. Anyway, before I start showing that uh, I'm gonna explain what's going on here with the webcam view so and this one we can imagine like this is you and you start off like these are your eyes looking it doesn't matter but you're looking one direction I'm gonna say right and then if you see a uh, red you turn 120 and you start facing this way. And then if you see another red, turn 120, start facing that way. It's also possible to turn, go blue. So these are reds. And this, and then this would be like a blue. And two blues would also end you up back at the start. Just like, or sorry, three blues would end you up back at the start. Two blues is the same thing as one red. Two reds is the same thing as one blue. So, I think the trickiest thing with this one was not really thinking about all the possibilities. So, like, that's what made the other attempts fail in the end. So, one way you... By the way, none of these directions you can go in are um, directly opposite um, of another one. So, like, I can't go forwards and then just go backwards. I literally can only go this way, that way, or that way. So you can think of it as like some sort of triangular grid is what I'm working on. And actually that's where <laughs> maybe some sort of triangular paper would help, I guess. But it's like I can go like that, that, or that, and then here. Oh, I think it's actually a hexagonal grid, right? I think it's like like this sort of thing, maybe. Yeah. Um, it's like that. And if we start... Oh, wait, shoot. If we start there, hold on, let me just erase that. 
actually, that's kind of confusing, because I guess you could go there and then move right. I mean, maybe it is a triangular grid, because you could go right and then... Yeah, I think, I think that's actually a better complete picture. But anyway... If you start here, one way you can end up back at the start is to go right. Uh, sorry, is just to go forwards. Let's just say that's your starting direction you're facing this way. You go forwards, turn 120, forwards, turn 120, same direction, forwards. Like that would also have worked if I went forwards, turned 120 this way, went forwards, turned 120 that way, and went forwards. But there's more than that. You can also, actually, you know, it might be good. I'm going to draw this one more time on this side. So I'm going to say, like, you could go forwards. Sorry if that's not really showing up. I'm trying to, anyway, it's like it might not show up super well. But anyway, uh, you can go forwards that way and back. Or you can go forwards. So we're saying this is the starting point. Forwards this way and then back. Or you could go forwards and then forwards again and then again it's like turn 120 and then it would be uh forwards forwards again and then here and then here um i guess i didn't really draw that right because it should have been forwards forwards there there and then there there yeah my bad that wasn't really the forwards direction. Not like it really matters, but just to keep it like right is the first direction. But then you could also go this way and then up uh, two. So these are actually two. Maybe I should make that clear. And then back this way like that. So there's some possibilities, but that's not all because you could also go forwards and then this way and then this way and then this way and then back so like an hourglass and you could also do that here forwards this way this way this way and then back and we, we, there's no going to the left so like this is it i think these actually are all the possibilities that we can get in this example because are in this level because there's only up to nine movements and let me move this over here so the ones i have like a small triangle would just be uh green red green red green that's pretty simple or green blue green blue green or anything like green red red green blue green anything where they have the equivalent rotations the big triangle is just green, green, red, red, green, green, red, red, green, green. No, oh, sorry. That was somehow not right. Green, green. Oh, yeah, sorry. Green, green, <laughs> red, green, green, red, green, green. And there is room for one more thing at the end, which could be a rotation, but then we're pretty close to the limit. Now, there's actually another possibility. Um, maybe that's the one that I drew earlier. We could have a big triangle that starts here, and then we go this way twice, and then we go this way twice, and then we end up back where we started. And the same thing here, we could go this way, big triangle, here and here. Now, could we get this diamond to happen? Uh, I guess this is not a direction I can go in. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Like this, let me make it clear. That's a direction I can go in. Uh, so is, I could go this way from the start. That's a direction. Or I could go that way. But then this way is coming into there. Yeah, okay, so. God, this is strange. Okay, that's going that way. That's going that way. This looks really bad. Let me try drawing this a little better. That way. And. And then this one's like this way. Okay. And then at this point, it's the same thing. 
can go that way or that way and this way it's just out and I think let's see I guess could I go here 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 does that work that would be like one two to rotate three four rotate five rotate six rotate rotate oh wait hold on so it's like one two three four five six seven eight yeah no i don't think i can do like a weird sort of zigzag it's it's really crazy to think of like the movements on this one like for some reason it's really been hard for me to like get down the movements of this because i guess the grid is just kind of wild it's hard to think about it's not natural i guess for me to think about stuff on a triangular grid um for some reason it just makes it that much harder to plan stuff out but maybe i don't have to think of it too much because in the in the other one in lunar bases what i ended up doing was just kind of ignoring the like the a literal interpretation of maybe like how it's moving instead just thinking of it like if i see some sort of movement i have to cancel it back out so the only issue here is like sorry let me get the webcam view one open once again the only issue here is that if i get like that sort of movement how do i cancel that out it could either be with the little triangle or the big triangle that way or the big triangle this way or that way or that way like there's a lot of ways you can cancel it out it's not like the other one where i'm just looking for two rotations and another green and then i can repeat um yeah like and like another thing i've considered is like writing down what the combinations kind of look like like uh, actually i'll do it on the side here so you could have for a little triangle it would be like green uh red green red green with room for extra stuff um you could also have green blue green blue green but i guess that's just the alternate alternate version of that that's just like i won't think about the cases where you just swap the reds with the blues because it'll be the same you could also have green green red green green red green green but you could also have green red green green red green green red green that's that's the big triangle that starts with a half step like half like half of the base and then goes this way and then goes that way and then returns uh and then like the hourglass one which is if we have this that would look like green red green green so so far the same as that one but then we go then we have to like twist back so blue green and then we uh twist back again i believe blue and then green green so i can type that in right into the test thing I can type all these in actually. Green, red, oh, no. Green, red, green, red, green. Green, green, red, green, green, red, green, green. Green, red, green, green, red, green, green, red, green. Green, red, green, green, blue, green, blue, green, green. Also fits, don't have room for anything else, but it fits. I can't actually do multiple, like, like I can't return to the start more than once. I mean, like, you know, potentially I could, but because this is like a small triangle returning to the start. If I want to do just the same process again, it might look like green, red, green, red, green, 
but I'm one over the limit, so I don't think I can actually do that. And I can't just alternate back and forth, because um, that's just waste a step in the end, actually. So I don't think it's possible for me to... I think like once I get back to the start, I basically have to stay there. So that's kind of good, at least. Um... Are these the only four possibilities with their alternates? I think they are. Wait, no, I, I wrote some down in a past attempt though that were... Ah, uh, yeah, right, so yes, the, like these are the only ones but because this one has an extra spot it could actually be something like green green red green green blue blue green green because that's actually the same thing blue blue is the same thing as one red but that's more just like a like a repeat um now so there's the small triangle and the big triangle but what i'm thinking is the hourglass i see two rights yeah, I see two of each kind. Two rights, two, uh, I don't know, what should I call these? Two 120s and two 240s. Oh, sorry, that was off screen. For the hourglass, I see one one right here, one right here. That makes two, because I'm looking at this shape. Two rights, two 120s, so two like down lefts, and two up lefts. So that's actually the same as a big triangle. Two rights, two down lefts, two up lefts. Or even the um, the big triangle that starts from like the halfway through a base, because it would be one right, two down lefts, two up lefts, and then a second right. So hourglass, big triangle actually end up being the same thing. It's just in a different order, which is. Because, like, why can't I? Green, red, green, red. Yeah, it's strange that I can't do two little triangles, which are two rights, two down lefts, two up lefts. But I can do stuff that's bigger than that. Because green, red, green, red, green. But I think the... Or wait, what if I go green... Oh wait, yeah. Oh wait, hold on. So what if I do green and then this would be blue, green, blue, green. Oh, see that almost did work. And that was me thinking, what if I did this sort of thing? But that didn't actually work. Like another, it's just another hourglass, but it's at a tilted angle. And yeah, I, I guess that can't work because it would require too many steps. Green, red, green, red, green, green, blue, green, blue, green. Yeah, it's just one too many. Yeah, and that's just because I'm doing another triangle in the end. So, but yeah, it's weird. So where, where does that one, where's the extra thing come from? Because green, green, oh, I guess it's because these steps when it's green followed by a green, I kind of like save myself. Okay. And then there's green, down left, down left. I'm just thinking like, could there be something I'm missing here? I think like the thing is, we need two of the, like if we're having a, like a set with two um, right movements, two down lefts, two up lefts, we need two, um, two pairs of those movements to happen one after another or also run out of movements and I think yeah so basically you can either start with the two greens um, I guess yeah you either start with those two greens uh, but what's the difference between oh, okay I gotta actually think for a moment here so hourglass does that. 
Okay, I see. The hourglass kind of manages to do it. That does that. And then... I don't think there should be anything else other than that sort of triangle. Um... Oh wait, what about that sort of... Wait, wait, so what about... Let me just try something. I don't know if I've considered this one. Green, green, red, green, red, green, green, blue, green. Ah, there's another one, actually. Because that was me doing... It's just another hourglass, actually, but it's me doing green, green, red, and then green, and then red again to go this way and then I come back in so that's the long hourglass and I could also do that um, so I could also do that like this so we kind of have this interesting looking grid I guess in the end I don't think yeah we can't ever really go right there I mean we can but it's just we can't do that and then end up back at the start in time um, because to get there, we need to go one, two, three, four, five. And then if I do like, yeah, and then I only have four more movements, but like six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, wait, shoot, can I do that? <laughs> Hang on. Green. Uh, I guess I'll do blue. Green, blue, green. Red, green green red green green red green no okay yeah no I, I was actually thinking of going backwards a step I think because uh, if I go here 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 I can go there but then to get back I, would need, I can't go that way I would need to like go through here and that doesn't work. So I don't think I can actually end up going through here and still have time to make it back. But this air when does this arrow happen? I'm just wondering. That's when we do oh yeah, that's when we do the No wait, I does do these arrows actually happen? I'm I'm missing Oh yeah, it's for the right, it's for those hourglasses. Um, okay. Have we covered our bases at this point? Should we just go for another attempt at this? Let me just, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, no, okay, yeah. Uh, I think, I think I need to do this though, still just in a way that, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm writing down that other long hourglass one, which was green, green, Red, green, red, green, green, blue, green. I mean, hmm. other than that one big triangle that's just me taking the whole base like each side one at a time like green green red green green red green green the other possibilities all have no well they all take up the most but actually i was thinking one of them has red blue blue mixed in and one of them has red red blue and, the, and another one has red 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 God, it's like, it's like, I feel like I'm still missing stuff, which is not good. Like, I, but I, I can't think of how else this could go. Green, green, red. Green, blue, green, green, blue, green, green. Okay. Red, green. Maybe not, because I thought maybe like that would somehow work just based on how the other ones look, but uh, I just don't know. Should should I... 
the thing is because it's like I don't I can't really like do what I did with a 90 degree turn one because I, I don't want to like just cycle back to the beginning it's not going to be useful because we're never going to have a case where we we cycle back to the start so that's why it seems pointless Okay, so in all the combinations so far, red, it, like, one of them has, if I ignore any, if I only think about really turning clockwise and whatever, the small triangle has two reds, so that ends up being like 240 degrees total turn. The big triangle also has two reds, which is also 240 degrees. The big triangle has three reds, which is ends up being 360 degrees. But I guess that's just about where it faces when it's coming back in, now that I think about it. Yeah, because red, blue, blue is the same thing as, yeah, one, 120 in the other clockwise direction. Ah. Um... I know it's been like half an hour and I haven't even started, but every other attempt, it's like, and a big part of why I can't just go into it is there's, the space limit is actually like, you know, pretty generous, but you do run out, but there's a scanner limit, it makes it really hard. Um, so, I'm trying to think, I still don't know what a good way to do this is. Because it doesn't seem like I can filter and send back to the start. I just can't think of how that would work. I mean, like, see, the thing is, I definitely am looking for six greens or three greens and nothing else. Nothing. Well, actually, or no greens. You could also have only rotations at the start. That would be fine. Or just nothing. Those are all good, but... Either no greens, three greens, or six greens. That's the only stuff I care about. Um, the thing is, I can't just like, I can't just like do, and I can't do much with the fact like if I have six greens, I still need to check where they're happening because it's not like I can have green, 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 and then like a bunch of random turns. That would not bring me back to the start. So. It's more than that. But how to do this? Um, gosh. Uh, Well, I guess the thing is, for those big shapes, they always did have two right movements, two up lefts, and two down lefts. So I guess I just need to look out for that. But the thing is, what there's also the small triangles, and how do I assess which one I have? Okay, well, how would I keep track of what sort of movements I see? I need to see two rights, two up lefts, two down lefts, or just one right, one left, one up, down left, one, one up left, one down left. Um, So, wah, 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 wah. I don't. Could I even keep track of that? Is the thing? Cause it's not easy to know when I've moved in a certain direction. Especially like yellow is my only free color. Um.
And if yellow's my only free color, then can't do much with that. I really think I have to, like, I really think that there's something about that two rights, two up lefts, two down lefts. Me oh, maybe that's what I do. I just look for that amount on each of them. Maybe I, oh, okay. So what if I run through the whole tape looking for uh, one right, and then when I get one right, I run through it again looking for one down left, and then I run through it again looking for one up left. And I can maybe remove some of that stuff as I go. And then... If there's more, I can check for a second one. Okay, maybe it's something like that. Okay, so let's try that. So, if I'm looking for a right movement, well, actually, first I just ignore all the initial stuff. And then if I'm looking for, then I'll either see a green or a yellow here. If I see a yellow, it's actually just good. If it's... Well, it can't be blank there. That wouldn't make sense. Um, if I see a green, what do I want to happen? I guess actually to... You know, one thing I could do is like this. Because then if it sees the yellow, it takes it off and puts it back on. Ah, no. Let me not make it weird. Um, Alright, so if I see a green... What I want to do is say, okay, that's that's my starting direction, and now I want to see one green from a different direction. So, okay, all right. So this is kind of making some sense. So then, oh god, what's a nice? I'm gonna actually probably. No, it doesn't matter. So, if see the thing is here, if I see one blue. And then a green, that's one thing. And what I'm thinking is, if I see that green, I can just... Oh no, okay, wait, hold on, so I gotta be careful. Because what I'm thinking is, like, I want it to... I want to get that one rotation done first, and then another rotation, and then back to the start. Yeah... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is good. Okay, and this is making a lot of sense now that I think about it. So, if I'm here and I see a green, I I think I just want to give it back. So, what's a good way to do it? Give it back and then bring it back there. Um, well, no, I guess it'll be the same. Num oh, no, because I need to bring it to a different place. Shoot. Because I was thinking... If I see a forwards motion there, that's not what I want to see. I want to see a green. I I want to look at it one at a time. I mean, I could start with the forwards. Like, I could have some weird circuit that, like... Oh, no way, that doesn't work. Um, like, that it doesn't care what order you see them in. I guess I could just say like give it a yellow if you see that, but no, because I couldn't. I couldn't be like give it a yellow because it could just see a bunch of forwards and just give out yellows for this. So no, I think I need it to be like a process and just run it back through every time. Uh, wait, but if it's a process, then what I need is. There's that weirdness of, like, not really facing the direction I started in. So... Like, I do want to find... We did have one green, but now we have to have a turn and then a green. Yeah. yeah I, I don't think I want to do except another green going forwards because then it's like I'm only looking for the up lefts. I mean, I don't know. Is there a way to design that? Oh, I'm getting confused. 
because this would be one turn and then like the other thing is like this blue should loop back here so that um you know that's like already kind of crazy but that would mean i'd have to do something like this but this red would have to loop back here which means i'd have to do something like this all over and then if I see I mean like do I want to say like it's okay to see a forwards movement or do I I think I want to do this one at a time it's just tricky because if I see a white there it's probably a green and then I probably just want to send it back in But I could see a yellow at any point. I wonder if I could do something like... Like, uh... I don't know, like this. And then have the green. Yeah, it gives it back the green. And then it, like, goes to another one of these just facing the other way. I don't know if this would work, but, like, this is what I'm kind of thinking. Like this. Oh, I guess one issue there would be if I saw a green followed by something, yeah, well, I could, like, pipe it out, I guess, instead. So, yeah, okay, so if I see a green, I just give it back, and then it's, like, kind of back at the starting position. This ignore oh but I took off all those turns oh shoot I just realized I've been taking off those turns the whole time yeah if I want this to be like the other one I actually have to make sure I'm not removing turns um, do I not remove turns at all or how does that work wait let me let me go look at the uh, other one because I think that'll kind of help me think about this the lunar bases because in this one once I saw a green, if I saw a green, I just gave it back. I see. And if I saw a red, I'd give it, or I'd instantly just give it the red. If I saw a red again, uh, so I just give it all back. Did that actually? Let me just see how this worked. So, actually, let me let me just type one in. So, uh, like if I had green, red, green, red, green, red, green, that would work. So like, oh, that would work. Let me just see how like this kind of concept works. Red. So like once it sees the pair of things, it gives it all back. And yeah, and I guess the rotations there cancel out or something is how that worked. That's kind of how it worked. So maybe if I just give back all the rotations, it'll be fine. Because I just literally gave them back. I'm not even sure if I thought too much about it. Okay, so let's try that here. Only thing is, it's a bit weirder, but should should be some way to design this. So before I before I do that stuff, let me make sure this is making sense. Yeah, okay, because we need it to be more like if we see a blue, we give it a blue, and now I can't say red just goes straight back. Right. Okay. And then this is where, this is, okay, and then I can do the thing here. Okay, and then this one's going to have to be like, I don't know, it could be like that. Oh, wait, sorry, it'd have to be like that. Right, whatever. And then for this one, it this is where I want to say, um, 
Yeah, if you see a yellow, it's done. So if you see a green, just give it a green. Yeah. Okay, this is sort of making sense. So if we see a blue and then we see a green, see that's that's a good first step. Um, it's a good first step, but I need to see a green in the other direction as well. So how do I? Assess th I think I would have to be like, okay, if you see a blank, as long as it's not a yellow. If it's yellow, trash it. Um, yeah, if it's yellow, trash it. But if it's a green, okay, remove it. Um, and then we gotta look for a turn in the other direction as well. And this is where I'm kind of thinking... I could split the path, or I could just make it that... If you see a red turn, just wait till we're back on track and then look for that turn. So we're doing like one at a time sort of thing. Uh, yeah, I guess I could just be like the first circuit is just looking for these blue, blue and then a green kind of thing. And blue is whatever, it doesn't matter, but blue is one turn counterclockwise 120. Um, if I see the red, I should actually, maybe I should just give it, no, I can't just give it back because it's in a different place now. But if I see a red followed by a blue, that's back to the start. So like that could be like that, maybe I can make it like that so it's a little symmetric. And then a red followed by a red is actually there now. Uh, so maybe it's a good way to set this up. Cause like, I kinda want that, but maybe, okay, so maybe I'll do like that. Yeah, and then this is where I would have to start deciding what I'm going to do if I see a green here. Do I give it back or do I send it to another section? And also, I think I need to say, though, if I see a blue followed by a red, we go back to the start. But if I see a blue followed by a blue, we're actually here. right now it's crazy how many it goes through um green red yeah and then a green i don't know why i checked that just for funsies can i clean this up at all i don't actually know if i can because well maybe if i had it instead i guess if i had it instead pointing this way after the red it would help because Yeah, maybe that would be better. Maybe. Okay, let me just see if I can. Let me, um. I don't really care about these old ones. I'm just gonna save this. And. I'm just gonna try something kind of weird. So, like, if I had instead said, you know, red, like, you know, this is still trash. But if I said something. You know, I might even be able to, like ignore that trash by just doing that. And then if I had said something like, if you see a red followed by a blue, that is the blue and we eventually end up back yeah, here. But if we see a red followed by a red, we're at this end. So let me just see if, how that would work, if it could work. So I would, I'd probably have to do a similar thing there with the green. Wait, no, with the green, not... And then, 
yeah because i think i I, th I have a feeling because i'm not allowing i don't even want to look for another right because that's kind of like what i started with yeah that makes sense actually then then i probably don't want to look for turns or probably don't want to be like okay with either turn i only want one type of turn but anyway so let's see so if i say uh blue and then a, another blue would send me there but in one case i would have to give it a blue and send it there and another case i would have to give it a red and send it there so i think this is where oh, and by the way like this red and would bring me back to the start and then I could say, if we see a, uh, if we see a, oh, that kind of just brought him close, I just realized. Um, but I guess I could do this, and then blue would be blue, and you end up there. I need to say red would give it a red and end up here. So how would that work? Um, red and end up there, but I don't want it to really be like, it needs to end up in there. So I think this is the case that I'd want to make it a little bit wider. Like, what if I just made it one wider on both sides? If I did that, actually, I could just have this and this be like that. These would just stick out a bit more. Don't need that anymore. Or these. And then... Maybe this would make more sense just to have those close by. And then... Yeah, so like, if I saw a red, I need to give it a red. If I see a blue, I need to give it a blue. But I need a way to get in there. Maybe I would. Hmm. That's a little weird. Do I need to like bring one down a little bit more than the other, but just have room? Cause I get yeah, cause if it's like this, that works for that, and then blue works like that. And then if I want it to just kind of look nice and equal, I could even do this. So that's kind of nice. It might use up too much room, but it looks a bit nicer. I think. Let me just compare this to the other one. Sure. Not sure which is better. Really, this is a weird one. Like these are doing the same thing. I'm not sure which I prefer. Actually, there's something wrong here because like that blue would have to actually give it a blue, but. That wouldn't be too hard to implement. I don't know, this, uh, maybe I'll run with this one for now. All, it feels like I should be able to like tighten that up, but I don't actually know how. And it does look like these are exactly the same, but they're leading to different places for different reasons. All right, so. I think I want to do something here where if, if I see a green, I just give it back and a yellow is trash. Yeah. And then if I see um, a, a green here, that goes to a different department. it's going to end up back at the start. 
so I think I would say if I see a green, now I need to see um, that other type of turn. And that other type of turn is very similar to this. Um, yeah, but we're looking for the other one. So I guess I can just kind of take this. And I do have to remove that green, so I'm not even... Not even... Uh, keeping it just like I didn't keep this green. Oh, actually, so this thing, I think I want the same thing, and it could even go out that way, but flip. So that, um, once it sees that, I think I just want to process through the rest and then bring it back to the start. So this will be like a little processing area, like, uh, like, if you see any blues or reds, just give them back. And then if you see any greens or yellows, give them back. Once you see that yellow, bring it here. Okay, I want to see what this does right now. Green, red, green, red, green should work, but it doesn't. Alright, green... Red. I see that green and we give it back. We see a red. And then we see a green. Oh, and then it sees the yellow. Oh, 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 sorry. So once I see the green here, I need to actually do this. So, yeah. So let me actually extend. I like how there's like kind of inter. Like, this one has like parts to it. Oops. I don't want to take that. There's just like parts to this one, which is really nice. Um, this one I actually want kind of more like that. Um, and I can even bring that there. Once I see the yellow, just give it a yellow and let it go through that circuit. And then, okay, let's see if this works. My god. <laughs> you don't know how many hours I spent with this level. I can't believe I did it. I'm s Oh man, okay. I had never approached it like this. But this was, this is so easy compared to the ways I was trying to do it. And like my ways were almost working with other designs, but this, they, they just look stupid compared to this. This one's like so clean. Wow, the scanner stamper thing was actually bad. So probably I could reuse this. Cause look, one, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, it seems like maybe I could... Because this is almost doing the same thing as this one. But how exactly would I get it to go through the same circuit twice? How exactly does that work? I would need to, like, say once you're out of here... Replace everything when you see a yellow. Send it back in. What, and then like... Would I do like a double yellow? Or how would that work? I think I would have to do like a double yellow. Yeah, so I guess like one pass would be, okay. All right, so maybe I can do that. So let's try doing that first, because that would be really nice if I could eliminate that whole section. It's, it's just the thing is, what about the rotation though? I need I need one rotation from each. Maybe, hmm. See, that's the weird thing, because I don't know how I count that. Do I like tell it that it got rotated?
maybe I like mislead it and I tell it that it got rotated by like adding in an extra thing. But how would I do that? I guess. Oh wait, no, I would just start it from like a different point, right? Like I would just send it into some other part of this. Uh, I think I would just send it actually back in where it came from. Uh, no, because I'm not looking. No, I think I would send it. Would I send it here? Because if I sent it here, it'd be looking for... I think I would send it here. Okay, I could be wrong about that, but I'm just curious now. So, if I say, good job, you get a yellow. No, actually, I would say... Good job, you get a yellow, but if there is a another yellow, do something. Uh, but then it couldn't it start with a green is the thing. I guess it could, and in that case, I would just send it to that green. I just want to see if this will work. Um, yeah, actually, and then I'll just extend this. That, that, and then I just say, if you instead see a white, I just want to see if this works. And then we get a yellow. Yeah, once we see the yellow, we get a yellow. But then it does this again. And once we see a yellow... Okay, I just need to see how this works. So we, once we see yellow... No, that's like infinite loop, right? Or no, it rejects. So... Once we see the... Hmm... Do I need to give it the yellow at the start? I think I do. I think I do. And then if I see a yellow here, it gets a yellow. And it sends it back in. And then, yeah, and then we see the green, which is good. We take off the remaining stuff. And then, but then we see a yellow. Maybe I need to say... Oh, maybe I need... Hmm. Do I need to add on, like... I need to add, on like, two yellows there, maybe. So I can do that. Um, just see what that does. So we get those two yellows. And so I could actually just be like, if you see a yellow followed by another yellow sort of thing. Okay, so maybe I would actually move that. But the thing is, if I do this, and then I don't see two yellows, and instead I see a white or a green, well, a green I have to give it two yellows. I don't know, I think I have to do this. Then if I see another... Wait, so let me just... Let me run that one more time. So I see the two yellows. I gave it two yellows though as well, which does seem kind of bad. But I would just, from here... Like, I think send it over here. And then, okay, let me just see. I, I, I think there's, I just want to see what the problem is. Oh, 
that had an extra green on the end, but it said it was okay with it. Red, red, green, yellow, yellow. Ah, yeah, no, I can't, okay. All right, so then what if I did just say, check for two yellows immediately there? If you don't see them, give it two yellows after removing that thing or after removing that thing. Oh, uh oh, that doesn't seem good. Green, red, green. Red, green. So that did that. Caught the two yellows. I got yellow, yellow, and red, red. Oh, 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 wait, but I would give it a yellow also on the way out. Huh, well, that seems bad. But... Oh, that worked. How much better was that? Ah, oh, 33, though. See, I think I was wasting all these yellows, so... I, I feel like I could have just said... I feel like I want to give the yellows here. Wait, sorry, I need to just see what the slowest design does just for the heck of it. Green, green, red, red. So yeah, it's just adding everything back on until it sees the yellow. And yeah, it's like, I want to say like, it's definitely gonna see yellow, but if it sees a yellow and then another yellow, it's really done. A yellow and then another yellow, but if it just sees something else, we send it. Um, we send it. I'm trying to think if this is. Send it that way. If we see a green... Hmm, if we see a green after that one turn, maybe I... Could I say something else? I need to get rid of three scanner stampers. <laughs> Excuse me. I need to get rid of three scanner stampers, which I think are these ones are the big problem. Yeah, because I need, because when I, uh, I need this initial yellow for sure. Or, yeah, I need that initial yellow for sure so that I can say, once you see this green, add on everything else until you see the yellow so we know we're back at the start. And it would be nice to say, yeah, if you see another yellow, then we're really done. But if I see a green there, I have to give it two yellows and send it to green. But if I see a white there, I have to just give it... So that's the tricky thing. And that's why it would seem nicer to maybe... Take it off and then give it a yellow. Oh, wait. Can I do this? That might make sense. No. Green, red, green, red, green, green. So it gets here, and then... Okay, and then we get uh, two yellows. And then we see green. Oh, sorry, and then we see red. Followed by green, which is good. Then we... Oh, but then we see a green. Alright, and then it adds it back. And then it adds on a yellow. It sees a yellow... Uh, or sorry, so then it takes off a yellow, adds one on. Then we see another yellow. Oh, so I think maybe I can get rid of that. Is that it? Could be wrong. Oh, hey. 
Ah, oh, 31! No! How is this happening? I mean, was it? I'm, I'm pretty sure I can't do this. But just to be totally sure, like, I, it's not like I can just say, give it two yellows right there, right? Because that's what I did earlier, and like... So let me just make absolute sure that I got that right. I know this is like a dumb design, but just for now... Oh wait, shoot. Sorry, I meant to remove those yellows. If this works, that'd be weird. Yeah. Because that would get me down to 30. Ah, shoot. Because we get two yellows. And then... Oh, and then... Yellow, yellow. Ah, uh, and then it just needs... Let's see, that's the funny thing, is like, then we would need to say, once you see the green, remove the yellow. Oh, and then I don't have to give it a yellow? No, and then... Because I would need to, like, remove another yellow. Like, I know there's another yellow that I have to remove, actually. Which is annoying. There's another yellow I have to remove. Like I like I think this would make it work. I don't think that encounters any issues. We'll see. It might actually somehow. But I think this just gets me back to 31. Hmm. Well, I liked. I like the previous design a lot more, I think. Actually, I don't know, is this better? It's just that's so weird with the two yellows. Where, what else could I do here? What else could I do? I need to remove one scanner stamper. How is that happening? Yeah, we need to sort for all the, through all the blues and reds. It, okay, I could be wrong, but I just want to see, is that possible or no? I think that's wrong. Yeah. Because that gets through and then Red just gets removed. Green. Red just gets removed. Green. Yeah, and then this is where weird stuff starts happening because it just sees green followed by green followed by green. Yeah, I just removed those right now. I can't remove those. How is there just one scanner stamp? Like, it's not that yellow. I don't have a yellow there, and it's not like I'm... Okay, just to go... Wait, actually, let me, uh... This is the one that's probably being saved anyways right now, but let me save this. Go back to this one. Why did that look like that changed? Oh. And then this one has the same amount, but it's just yellow and then here. Or does this have this, is this the right one or am I on the wrong? I think I'm on the wrong one right now. Cause there shouldn't be two there. I think there should just be one there. Yeah, whoops. This is the same. And actually, this would be a lot better for one. Man, I don't see the spare scanner stamper. I'm just gonna actually optimize this for area. 
start with. Because I can at least do that. And this is a good one for area optimization, I think. Uh, and then I can move you there, and I can even move you one more. So that's, that's pretty good for area, probably. Oh, no, it's not. Man. Man. Come on, I can't get any of these medals. That's, I feel like I'm not even doing that bad, but okay, but some people are doing this really fast. I, I mean, it must be these, like, long paths that I have to take to get around, but it just kind of seem necessary, honestly. Because of the whole thing of, like, needing this red to end up here, coming in from that side, because blank is a whole nother thing. Yeah, that's weird. I, I, it's weird. I, I don't know. Okay, well, hold on. I just noticed that this could go here. That could point that way. And then I just need to move all of these over one. And then these like that. Where are you going? I see the yellow. Oh, I need to send you to green. I could just do like this. And then you to here. Probably still clean up that beginning. Ah, I don't know. I'm. Um, yeah, I don't know if I could actually clean it up too much. I guess, I guess actually the start when I, when I include this and have it all laid out, uh, is that right? Why does that look wrong? That was wrong. So I have it all laid out like that. It kind of could just go like this with green sending it into the system like that and then and that can be tightened up a little bit and uh, I just need that to get there and then I'd probably take this and flip it so that I could do that instead. And then I could just have you there and this like that. And then you guys could go here, flip that, and that's, that's kind of nice. Let's see, does this still work? It's nice on the area, if that works. <laughs> it's still not good enough, because I need 90, but I... Like, I can't reuse this checker thing, right? Because this checker sends it back to this... Wait, actually... No, no, because I should send it back to the start, because the start is where I look for if it's good or not, yeah. Huh. It's almost like if I could shave that off, it'd be good, but I can't very easily do that compared to some of the other stuff.
wow, I don't know how to like do cool optimizations for this one so, like I, I could with the other ones. That red ends up here. Yeah, now that blue, that seems pretty good. It's annoying that I can't just get one scanner or stamper removed, but I just don't see... Like, it's okay for me to have a green there, because it could have been after some stuff. Like, is there some sort of thing I'm missing where it's like one of these scanners or stampers is actually like, just like, if you see that, it's already pretty bad. Or is it something else? Let me see what the slowest one is right now and just kind of run through its steps. So, wow, that's an interesting one. Green, green, red, blue, red. Green, red, green, green should go in the fire. So green, yeah, and then it... Okay, so it's like, yeah, it's, it's a green followed by another green, which is actually okay in some cases. So it's not like I can just trash it if you see green and then green. That, 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 that's okay. And then we see red. So I send it here. Then we see blue. So I have to send it back to the start. Then we see red. So I have to send it here. And then we see a green, but I just give it back. Yeah, I mean, I guess the faster way to do it would be like, that's okay, and then blah, 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 but, but I'm not gonna do that. So then, red, I wanna just get the low area, low scanner stamper if I can. And then a red, and then it sees the green. And then it's, we just give it back the stuff, which is just a green give it the two yellows like that because if I gave it two yellows and then sent it through there would be issues for this thing because it would see a yellow and then give it two yellows right yeah I wonder if it's like no, I can't do it. Yeah, okay, that, never mind. Um, I see a yellow, we remove it, put it back on. Then if we see anything but another yellow. Yeah, I'll also do that. I have to do that, and then saw green. So red, blue, red, green, so that's good right now, and this time you do have two yellows, so you go here, and then we just go through that, you have a green, that's okay, gotta add back on the rest, see another green, and we finally see the yellow, I have to add it back on. So that's ready to go. We see the green. And we bring it here and we run through the process again. We do see the first green. Instantly see a yellow. Hmm. And we instantly see the yellow, and then we only have rotations left. I don't know. I mean, I, 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 I don't see it. I don't see any, like, scanner stamper that can be re reused or removed or...
I'm missing it. It sucks though. It's like it's one, like I'm one off, really. I feel like it has something to do with like how I'm counting the uh, yellows, but I just, I can't think, I can't think of a way to do it other than this. Because I can't just check yellow and then yellow again without having to give it to yellows. But if I want to give it to yellows, it could have a green. In which case, I would need to give it to yellows. Or it could have something else, and I would also have to give it to yellows. Um, and they have to go to different places. Um, Kind of have to be the double yellow thing, right? I mean, yeah, it kind of have to be, and like, yellow, man, I don't know. I really wish I could get the special one. But I guess I'm just happy I beat this level. Oh well, I don't know. Dunno, but I beat it. I beat it. I beat Aerospace. Nice. Alright, because I had, I've had this unlocked for the longest time. I'm not going to start levels in this, but I just want to see what it looks like. <gasps> Ooh. Interesting. This is Tsuki. Oh yeah, because we're running through all the people from before. Ah, she's like elevated. So, because we had, there's no one here or there. Then we had this guy corresponding with this. This person corresponding with this. This person corresponding with this. This person corresponding with this. And then we had, this is like a special one maybe even, so, or these two are kind of like a special one, so maybe we'll have two more special ones after. Okay, but there we go. I have finally made it to the personalization tab. Thanks if you watched, and I'll see you.